Hey, Budget Gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to care for your dormant geraniums during the winter months. So let's go. It is early January here in New Hampshire Zone 5B. We finally just got our biggest snowfall of the year, which I'm very happy about because here we get some very cold temperatures and we absolutely need the snow to insulate all those plants from the cold weather that we typically get in January and February. So I'm very happy about that. But I wanted to make this video just to give you a quick update on how my dormant geraniums are looking and also what I've been doing to take care of them during these winter months before it's ready to get them potted up again. I made a video in the fall that showed you my process for digging up the geraniums, taking off all the dirt off of their roots, and then I put them in these paper bags. And then I stored these geraniums down in my basement where it is cool, it's dark, but it doesn't freeze. And that's where they've been living in their dormant state. And what I like to do is every month just check on them, make sure that they look good, make sure that there's no rot happening. And then also I like to give the roots just a small spritz of water just to make sure the plants are staying alive. However, last year I didn't give them any water. I didn't spray the roots at all. And the plants still thrived, they survived. So for this year, I just want to make sure that the plants are doing okay. So I'm just giving them a small spritz of water. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the geraniums. When it comes to overwintering your geraniums, you definitely can bring them in and treat them as a house plant in a pot with dirt around them, and that's perfectly fine. But I have so many geraniums that I'm overwintering that for me, that process would not have worked. It would have been a lot of maintenance for me to keep watering the plants almost every week and uh, cleaning up the leaves, fertilizing. So it made a lot of sense for me to just put them in these bags and keep them dormant in my basement. The other option is I could have put them in cardboard boxes to have them in that dormant state, or I could have just hung them upside down just from the ceiling or from a wall, and that would have been fine as well. There's a couple of different ways that you can store your geraniums in a dormant state. But what I love about this process, regardless of how you store your geraniums over the winter, either in a pot or in this dormant state just like this with no dirt around them is that every year that you keep these geraniums over you're going to end up with a bigger more beautiful plant think about it each year you could be buying geraniums and as beautiful as they are you eventually if you throw them away you have to start over again year after year and they probably don't get as big as they could if you had just kept them over the winter which is a big reason why i do this so let's get started. I wanted to just give you a quick tour of what the dormant geraniums are looking like and point out anything that might be of importance. I will admit I've already sprayed each of these with water and I'll show you how I do one of them. And when you pull it out of the bag, you can see that they, they look okay. Um, and this is what they're gonna look like. They're not gonna look great. But right here, you can see this stalk right here looks nice and green. And in fact, if you look carefully right there in the corner, there's even some additional new growth that's happening. And oftentimes what you'll find happening during the winter months is that there might even be a blossom that is shooting inside of the bag or your box, and that's okay. But um, I am very happy with how this plant is looking like and so what i'm checking for is i'm basically just pressing against each of the stalks and if there's a stalk that feels a little on the softer side i want to go ahead and remove it i want to make sure that i'm not encouraging any rot to happen in the bag so i can tell that this stalk right here is feels good and you're not just looking to make sure that each stalk is green if it's green then it definitely should be in good shape but sometimes the stalk might be even like on a browner side and that's okay too. And if you wanted to, this is a great time to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. I probably will end up doing it just because if I'm gonna go through the process of opening up each bag and checking on each dormant geranium, I might as well go through the process of cleaning off any dead foliage. But you don't have to, that's an optional step. 
the key thing that you're checking for is rot. But as I'm pressing here, I can see that these all feel nice and firm. So it's just a good time to remove these leaves. And actually what I like about having removed those leaves is that's one less thing I'll have to do uh, in, later in the season. Um, the other thing that I like is that it kind of exposes everything so I can now see what's going on in here. So this piece here is good. This piece here, even if it looks dead, it feels firm. This one feels firm. But I did notice this one right here feels soft. So I'm just going to, I don't have pruners with me right now, but what I will end up doing is cutting this piece off basically at the spot where it feels soft, which is right at the base here. So I'll end up cutting that off. And after I do that, I will end up putting this back in the bag upside down and putting this back in my basement. And then in another month, I will check on this plant again. So when it comes to watering, again, that's optional. You do want to water if you feel like you're, uh, entire geranium, your entire dormant geranium is starting to shrivel, then you definitely want to water. But if it feels pretty good overall, then that tells you that the plant doesn't need any additional water. But I did just give everything a small spritz of, spritz of water while I was at it. I do have this, this water sprayer here that I like to use for lots of projects, but you can definitely use a small hand sprayer or something that you have handy. And I just want to barely spray the roots. And I want to make sure that I'm not getting this top part too wet. If you were to get the plant very wet, you don't want to then store it completely wet. You want to let it dry for one or two hours. But I feel confident that I just gave it a small spritz of water and I feel comfortable putting this back upside down in my paper bag. So I did end up getting something to cut off that rotten piece with. So it's right here. It feels very soft. Just going to go with the base and snip that off. And other than that, this plant is good. And I can now go ahead and put it upside down in my paper bag. In the fall, I did put rubber bands around each of these paper bags. And I feel that actually that's not necessary. If anything, it makes it harder when you want to take the plant out each month to take the rubber band off. You don't want to ruin the roots. So I've gone ahead and taken the rubber bands off each of these bags, and I'm not going to replace them. So that plant is all set. Lately, with many of the projects that I've been working on, I feel like it's Christmas all over again, unwrapping presents and seeing what's going on. So here's another present. Um, and let's see, there's a whole bunch of growth again in the center part of this plant. So I'm going to bring it in closer so you can see. There's some right here and here as well. I'm going to go ahead and take off some of the foliage that has gone by. I really like doing a lot of these type of projects because during the winter, I really, at this point now, I, there's not much I can be doing out in my yard. And I realize some of you live in a warmer climate and you're still able to be out in your yard, which I think is wonderful. But for those of us that live in the colder climates, hopefully this encourages you that we can still be gardening and doing lots of fun things. I especially like doing it because, as you know, I'm a budget gardener, and I just don't like having to buy things like geraniums year after year. I can be a little bit of a lazy gardener in that I don't want to be taking care of these indoors all winter long, but I can see a benefit in that too because I think it's nice to have things growing inside during the winter months. My preference is that I would have things like food, like maybe lettuce growing during the winter months. In fact, right behind me, under my grow lights, I have some lettuce growing right now. And should be, I should be able to hopefully harvest from it within the next month or so. And I'll keep you updated on that. 
So I'm feeling the stalks of this geranium. And again, even though they look dead, they don't feel terribly soft. Although this one right here does. This feels, you can see, <laughs> it is definitely soft. So this one I'm going to cut off. Some of these that I'm feeling feel nice and firm. And when in doubt, even if it, it might not be the whole entire piece, you can always cut off some of it. And I feel confident doing that because I just, again, I see a lot of growth happening here at the base. And other than that, I think this plant is good. Last year I did buy, it's either a Mary Washington or a Martha Washington. I feel like it's a Martha Washington. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, geranium. And it was on the pricey side. They tend to be pricey, but it was an experiment for me to see if I'm able to overwinter it. And I didn't label it in any of my bags. So that will be a surprise for both you and I in the springtime when I pot all these up to see if uh, it survived. Speaking of when is the right time to pot these up, you want to pot these up about six to eight weeks before your last frost. And I'll be showing you how I do that in a video. But I wanted to mention that now because many of you might live in a warmer climate than I do. Therefore, your last frost date might be a lot sooner than mine is. So you want to know what your last frost date is so you know when to pot these up. And if you didn't have a chance to overwinter any geraniums, it's all right. Now, you know, that's why I'm making these videos also is to give you encouragement of things that you can try for next winter. It's almost like an investment. You buy it and then hopefully you're able to overwinter it and then you can get it to grow bigger and even propagate from it by getting cuttings. So there's a nice piece here that's green. This piece here is green. These, that piece that I just caught off, even though it wasn't green, I could tell that it was soft and mushy. And this one here as well is feeling soft all the way down to here. And it's amazing what this looks like. Actually, look, look at this blossom. Isn't that funny? Uh, it's amazing what, you know, it doesn't look like much. It's not very encouraging. But um, I did the same process last year. And I had so much fun. I had so much luck. They look like sticks during their dormant state. And then you pot them up. And they slowly start coming back to life again. And I've shown that in older videos, that process of how I did it. And I'll do that again this year. I'll show you the process for doing that. I really hope that this process is encouraging to you and motivates you to try it. And if you had seen my video in the fall and you were wondering what to do next, I'm hoping that this kind of gives you a cue of what are some things that you should be checking for and what you should be doing next. And I would love to hear from you. If you can drop a comment below and let me know if you've ever overwintered geraniums um, and uh, you know how you did and did you do it bare root did you do it in a pot or a container where did you store it i'd love to hear you know how it's worked for you in many of my videos i ask you to subscribe and the reason i do that is just so you can follow along with the journey and learn and the other important thing is to uh, hit the notification bell because I've had people tell me that they subscribed to my channel But then they didn't know that I made a video So you definitely want to do that for my channel as well as other channels that you follow You want to hit the notification bell because then you will actually get notified every time a new video comes out And that's really important. I wanted to point that out because I think many times people don't know to, to do that 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 notification bell is just as important for you as well as the subscribe button and it also, the, by hitting subscribe, that helps my channel out as well. And it lets me know that you're enjoying my content. And if you hit the like button, that also lets me know that what kind of content you're enjoying and what kind of content I should be making.
some of these geraniums are uh, on the bigger side, some are on the smaller side, but that's fine. And this one here has a small amount of growth going on right there. You can see it. And that doesn't necessarily mean that's the only place it's going to grow that now on. It still has a chance to grow in other spots on on this plant it's just for right now that's where i'm noticing growth although i can i can feel that there you know these pieces feel hard so there should be additional growth happening later on during the season and don't be discouraged if it doesn't work the first year that's part of gardening that's how we learn don't give up because so many times things that we try don't work the first time around and that's, that's all right. <laughs> this looks so pathetic. I can't wait to show you in the late winter um, potting all these up and just how wonderful and beautiful they're going to look. So we finished one tray. I will go ahead and finish the other tray. And when I'm all done with these, these are going to go back down in my basement and um, I will check on them again in a month and I will do the same process. I'll just give them a small spritz of water and before you know it, it's going to be time for us to pot these guys up. But I hope this video was helpful for you and until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.